Egyptians, Ramesses. Moving on, first couple of divisions. Amun, as it was called. Ray, the next division in the sequence, was moving up. So there they were, and near to the camp of Amun, that first division of the Egyptian army, was Ramesses with his personal encampment and his nobles and the others around him. So, once they've made camp, one chunk of the Egyptian army is, is standing still, another chunk of the Egyptian army is approaching, and then who knows where these other chunks are. The Hittites, just using their chariots, take a bunch of them and start hitting that second part, the red part. One. One. And stripping away the chariot protection from this group of Egyptians. Once the chariots have stripped away the Egyptian chariots, they start smashing through and cutting these guys up horribly. These infantry, as, as you may have noticed, are not especially good at that hand-to-hand -hand thing, and they are all put to flight. At that stage, it's clearly going the Hittites' way. They've made their initial move, and they've hammered one of those leading Egyptian divisions. These guys are never forgiven by Ramesses. In fact, many of them were executed the following day because they had been caught on the hop. They were really caught out by being in their marching columns, narrow at the front, long columns. You had to beat them while they were still in column. Then the Hittite chariots move towards the encampments of the Ammon division. They come up to the Ammon division and they bash their way into the camp. And all the people in, in that camp, they'd been trying to defend it, it didn't work. And the Hittites get in amongst them. And this is a problem because charioteers think like cavalry. And once they've done that glorious charge, they've done it twice now, they start thinking about loot. They start thinking about getting something nice to bring home to the wife. So the Hittite charioteers stop fighting and start looting. At that point, and of course this is Ramesses' own account, rather coloured in his own favour, he leads this small number, a few hundred men, of his noble cavalry and begins a counter-attack. At that stage also, Ptah, the third Egyptian division, begins to deploy on and there are fresh troops. But Muatalish, the king of the Hittites, has got a bunch of chariots left. So, although the Egyptians managed to bring a lot of combat power to the end of this battle, the Hittites also managed to bring a lot of combat power to the end of this battle. And this is before the Greek idea of having a battle with a winner and a loser. So this battle has historically no winner and no loser. So this historically is a stalemate. Yeah. Not when you played, which was a real shame. <laughs> Thanks for that. The real battle of Kadesh lasted for two days until the Hittite king, Muwatalish, offered a truce. Under the terms of a peace treaty, Kadesh remained in Hittite hands, but both leaders claimed victory to their people. Ramesses II became the most famous of Egypt's pharaohs. Even though you lost, you three are, are clearly going places, thanks in no small part to Mr. Booth, who's clearly a great teacher and a terrible general. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.